Hi everyone, I am so sorry I'm not able to be in class to go through this presentation with you in person, but I'm happy to be able to make a video of it with you so that you know what to do and how to follow along for photo challenge number three. So in front of you right now, you should have a whiteboard, you should have a whiteboard marker, you should have the yellow personal value sheet that we went over last time, and then you should have that small piece of paper where you wrote down the personal value that you chose last time in class. If you don't have those, take a moment right now and grab those four things in front of you. So what I'd like us to do is a little warm up is I want you to take a look at this photo and I want you to look at the list of values you have in front of you, and I want you to make a guess as to what value you think is being represented in this photo. And I want you to write it on your whiteboard. Don't talk to the person next to you, use your own ideas. Take a moment, maybe I'll pause here and let you, uh, maybe you can even pause the video. Take a minute or two, and look at this image and what value do you think is being represented by this photo? So I hope you've had a little bit of time to think. Um, if I had to guess, and I don't know, the photographer didn't tell me what they were thinking with this one, but if I had to guess, I might think of something like relationships or uh, perhaps love. Hold up your whiteboard, share it with the people around you, maybe share it with other people across the room from you. See if anyone around you had the same idea that you had. And if someone had a different idea than you, that is great as well. Um, as we know in art, when we're looking at a piece of artwork, we have our own interpretation that might be different than another person or maybe even different than what the artist was intending. So let's try another photo now. So take a look at this image, take a look at your list of personal values, erase what you had on your whiteboard, whiteboard uh, before, and write down two or three ideas you might have for this one. This one's a little trickier, so I'll pause here. You can even pause the video. Maybe choose a couple values that you think might be represented by this photo. All right, hold up your whiteboard to the people around you, see what they wrote down, maybe see what the neighbor next to you wrote down. Um, this one is tricky. I was thinking for this one, maybe something like beauty. I mean, something is literally beautiful to look at. Um, so maybe they, somebody chose to do a picture of something that they felt was beautiful. I thought maybe growth as icicles kind of um, drip and melt they kind of like that's how they're formed maybe growth would be a way to this would be a way to represent growth um maybe risk taking this would be a cool picture to represent risk taking potentially let's try another one so erase your whiteboard and then take a look at this picture write down two or three ideas that you have for the representation that you see here let's pause the video And then hold it up, look at the people around you, see what they wrote down. Maybe they have something similar to you, maybe not. Um, I thought, my first thought with this one was actually humor, because I think it's people laughing, having a good time. I also thought maybe happiness for this one, maybe you guys thought that as well. Um, I also thought of fun. This picture could represent a lot of different values. Let's try another one, erase your whiteboard. And let's try this photo. So take a moment, pause the video, and write down two or three ideas for this one.
and then hold up your whiteboard to the people next to you, share your ideas, share your thoughts, see if you have anything in common. Um, the first one I thought of with this picture was optimism. I don't know if anyone thought of that as well. I also thought maybe leadership for this one. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of different ones. I feel like this one could maybe be as well, maybe success for this one too. I got a couple more for you all to try. Let's erase our whiteboards and try this picture now. Take a minute, write it down, write a few examples down of values that you think this photograph might be representing. and then share your ideas with the people around you. I would say for this one, maybe self-care is one that I thought of. Um, another one that I thought of was peace. Another one I thought of for this one was balance, but again, there's several it could be. Maybe you have a different one than me. Let's try another one. Erase your whiteboard. And now we'll try this one. Pause the video, write down a few examples for this photo. All right, take a moment, share with the person next to you. What ideas did you have for this one? Um, the first one I thought of for this was sharing or maybe relationships, um, or even kindness I thought of for this one as well. So let's try, I've got two more for you. Let's try second to last picture. This one's a little different. Let's try this one with a person in it. Take a second, write down your ideas. So for this video, the first thing I thought of was physical health, because um, it's obviously a picture of somebody working out. Um, another one that you might think of for this one could be competition, perhaps. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different ones for this one as well. Let's try our last, our last photo. So erase your whiteboard and we'll try this one. So I thought for this one, um, it's kind of a confusing photo because the words say I can't do it, but then that's being cut in half so something potentially like success for this one or um, determination might be one that many people thought of. So hopefully this is making sense to you how a picture can represent a value in a lot of different ways. Um, and one photo can have a lot of different meanings behind it. So this is the handout that you have in front of you right now with a whole list of words in our last class period, I had you all choose a top 10, which you then narrowed down to a top three. And finally, you chose one word as your most important word that you are going to represent in a photo in this class. So how do we decide what we're going to photograph? How do we kind of go through that creative process? There is a handout that I want you to go through with me now. It's called the Personal Value Ideation Worksheet. So we're gonna pause for a second here. Get this worksheet in front of you. At the very top, please write down your name and your period. You are gonna hand this in to me today. So please follow along with this video to complete the worksheet. And then at the very top of the worksheet, you'll see I want you to write down what is the value that you chose and then tell me why that value is important to you. So you can pause the video here, get that worksheet in front of you, 
and then answer those two questions. Once you have those first two questions answered, you have your value chosen, you've written down why it's important to you, we're gonna go through a little bit of an ideation process right now that's just gonna help you um, kind of brainstorm some different ideas for what you might photograph. There's no right or wrong answers here. I just want you to kind of let yourself uh, think openly and not without any sort of um, goal in mind. We're just kind of gathering ideas right now. So the first thing I want you to do is write down or even just write bullet points about a specific time in your life when your value was really important either to you or maybe it was a value that you really needed or somebody else in your life had um, that was important to you. So let's take two or three minutes and just do a little bit of reflection. So for example, if the word that you chose is uh, mental health, when was a time in your life when you know the value of mental health was really important to you? Is there a specific instance you can think of or a time in your life when the person near you or close to you, um, you know, mental health was something that was really important to them? So take a moment here and fill out that one box. Once you get that done, I'm going to ask you to fill out two short lists here. The first list is I want you to think of your personal value and then think of five other words that come to mind when you think of that word. They could maybe be synonyms, so a word that you think sort of means the same thing, or it could be something really specific only to you. So if your word is something like um, fun, and there's a certain place or a certain song or a certain person that may you think of specifically when you think of the word fun, then maybe you want to write that down. Again, it doesn't have to be something specific to you. It could also just be a synonym for the word fun. But again, no answer is wrong. We're just kind of gathering some ideas. And then in your second column, I want you to think of five words that you would say are the opposite of your personal value. So again, if your word is fun, what words would you say mean the opposite of fun? So pause here for a few more minutes. Fill out your two lists. And then in the last chunk of the box, kind of like a rectangle there. This might be the most challenging part. I want you to see if you can connect your word, your value with these descriptors. So I want you to think of, again, I'll go back to the word fun. Is there a color that you might associate with the word fun? Is there a shape? Maybe you want to draw the shape in the box. Maybe you want to just describe the shape. Maybe you can't think of a shape right now and that's okay. Is there a texture that you feel like is kind of, when you think of the word fun, do you think of something more soft and gentle? Do you think of something more bumpy? Do you think of something more sticky? Do you think of something more spiky? What do you think of when you think of a fun texture? Or a texture, and, this, and fun might be one that's a little easier, maybe a word like, you know, uh, respect. What kind of texture goes along with respect? That might be tricky to think of. So this is tough to kind of think about. Um, if you don't have an answer right away, that's okay. Go on to the next one. Um, and then we're gonna go through kind of the senses. Is there a taste that you can think of, a smell that you can think of, maybe a sound that you can think of that goes along with your value? Is there a certain person? It might be someone you know. It might be somebody famous. It might be somebody fictional. Is there a place that you think of that you kind of associate with your personal value? Is there a certain object that you might associate with your value? And then lastly, emotion. These are 10 different descriptors. Take a few minutes now, pause the video, try to go through and see if you can think of something for each of these. Again, there's no right or wrong answer here. It's really what makes sense to you.
Okay, so at this point, the first front side of your worksheet should be done or close to done. If you didn't fill out all of the pieces, that's okay. I just want to reiterate that this is really hard creative problem solving. Um, it's different than maybe the hard work you do in your other classes, but it's no less difficult. So if you find yourself having a hard time coming up with a lot of ideas, that's okay. Just stick with it um, and we'll continue through the process. So hopefully at this point, you're kind of coming up with one or two ideas that you've maybe been able to think of something that you can actually photograph. And it's really important that you realize that you have to take this photo so if your word is something like determination and in your mind you want to picture, take a photograph of somebody climbing a mountain, then that means you need to have access to a mountain to photograph right now, which might be tricky to do. So make sure that when you're thinking about taking your photo, you're thinking about things you actually can photograph right now. So on the back side of your paper, I want you to flip it over and I want you to just list three potential ideas you might have for a focal point in your image right now. Remember that a focal point is what is drawing our attention. So what is the thing that you're thinking about photographing? It might be a certain object, it might be a person, it might be in a certain location, um, like a feature of a certain location, uh, maybe it's a certain texture. So think to yourself right now a few ideas for what could be the focal point in your image and we'll pause for just a minute. Once you've got a few ideas for the focal point, then I want you to think about what you might have in your background. This um, should be something related to your focal point, right? So if you're going to take a picture of, let's just say your word is creativity. And so you decide that you wanna have a bunch of different, say, uh, art supplies and musical instruments. Maybe in your background, you want to have something related to art supplies or music, like music notes or an easel or something like that. Um, so think about what would go along with your focal point that you could potentially have in your background. Let's pause here for a minute and think about that. And then finally, I want you to think about a location idea. This might be at school, it could be at home, maybe it's somewhere outdoors, maybe it is a public space, maybe it's at a friend's house. Where are you gonna be able to take your picture? And maybe you have a few different ideas, um, or maybe you have just one or two, that's okay. But you wanna think about a place that you have access to right now. So finally, at the very bottom of our paper, I want you to just spend the next chunk of class doing a little bit of work planning out this photo, answering these questions for yourself so that you really know how you're gonna set this up. So these are the things I want you to think about. What are the materials you're going to need to gather to shoot your image? Make a list for yourself so it's really clear. Where is the location going to be where you shoot your image? How are you going to set things up in your photograph? What kind of lighting are you going to use? Are you going to use natural lighting? Are you going to bring in lamps? Are you going to use flashlights? What, what might you use for light? And then think about your compositional guidelines. Remember, they're at the bottom of the page. This is a great little spot on your paper to maybe sketch out some ideas. Maybe you're like me and you want to draw it so you see your work visually. Maybe you want to make bullet points. Whatever works for you. This worksheet is something I would like you to please hand in at the end of class today. I am going to give it back to you when I see you next time in class, but I'm excited to see what ideas you have. So I'm gonna pause the video here, or I'd like you to pause the video rather here, finish your worksheet, and then I'm going to show you, just so you have an idea of where you can see this presentation um, again, if needed, or check out on Canvas where you're going to hand in this work.
All right. So when you are ready to hand in this project, you'll see underneath photo assignment, you'll see the personal value assignment right here. This is where you'll hand in this photo. You will probably want to have a day or two to think about it, maybe do a little bit of practice shooting at home. Um, maybe you will want to take this photo outside of class. I would guess that that will be true for a lot of you, but this is where you'll hand it in through Canvas. And then remember, there's always a reflection to do as well. So right underneath that, it says personal value reflection. When you click on that, you will see that uh, Google Doc for you with the three questions in it. That looks like this, where you're going to write down for me what your personal value is, describe how your photo represents that word, and assess your composition, and then let me know your feelings about your, that photo in the end. Again, if you want to see any information about your photo assignments uh, that we've gone over already in class, photo assignment number one or number two, if you click on, whoops, if you click on modules, at the very top, you'll see photo assignment info. I've embedded the presentation right into Canvas. And so if you have not yet done your hand photo, if you have not yet done your light and sculpture photo, here's all my photo examples that you can see, all of my tips about how to take those photos. And again, they are to be handed in through Canvas. So for the remainder of class today, you may hand in any missing photos that you have to still take, finish any reflections that you still need to do, and then obviously finish your photo ideation worksheet that we've done today in class and please hand that in before you leave. Again, if you'd like to see those examples that we kind of went through at the beginning of class, here they are. And that step-by-step -step process. Thanks everyone. Again, I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to be in class today, um, but I know you're gonna have a great day and I will see you soon.